Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install the Sakura terminal on a Chromebook. But first, if you like videos where I show you how to install software on Chromebook and on Windows, how to set up various software and programming tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is install the Linux development environment. To do that, we'll go to our launcher here and we'll find our settings. You can either search for the settings or find the icon. I'm going to click on the settings here. And on the left hand side, I'm going to go down here to this advanced tab and I'm going to click on that to expand. And then I'm going to click on developers. From here, we can turn on the Linux development environment. I'm going to click turn on and we have this wizard that will guide us through the setup. I'm going to click next. It's going to give me a username based off my email. If you want to change that, change that now. Um, I don't think you can change that later on. The disk size can be changed later on. I'm going to leave both as is and click install. That's going to take a few minutes so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once Linux is installed, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to maximize this and increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to make sure everything is up to date by typing sudo apt get update and then two ampersands for and and then sudo apt get dist upgrade. And I'm going to do a dash y flag to answer yes to the additional space. I'll hit enter. This will take a few minutes, so I'll come on back once that's done. Now that the Linux development environment is enabled, we can go ahead and install Secura. To do that, I'm going to type sudo apt get install Secura and hit enter. Okay, once that's run through, I'm going to open up my icons here and I'll go to my Linux apps and I see I have this icon for Secura. I'm going to pin that to the shelf and then click to open. Okay, and here is the Sakura terminal and you can begin using that on your Chromebook. If you like this video, please give it a like. Thank you.